Well, folks, a little update on the YZ125. The uh, gas tank decided to leak again on me last ride. Had about three hours out of it before it started leaking again. And uh, at my buddy's place. And I came in and I looked down. There was just a little bit of a seep right here. You can see a little crack. Now, it's already been fixed here before I got it. You can see here where it was fixed once and it just cracked up into here and it wasn't a big deal uh, you know wasn't leaking too bad the tank was only about half full at that point so I kept driving it driving it drove for about four hours total loaded it up in the trailer brought it home went to unload it the next morning and there was gas everywhere well at some point that giant crack appeared. It was all the way down top of tank to bottom tank essentially. It starts up here. It goes right down into there. So that's two tank cracks. And I got to looking at it. And I found another one up here. That had been fixed once before. So this tank, I, I, I'm, I'm counting about six repairs on it and I'm just sick of it. So I went ahead and I ordered one. Now there's the other crack right there. You can see. I don't know what's going on with it. The gas cap is venting just fine. So I thought maybe it was an overpressure. But the cap's venting. So I, I think it's just old age. It is, a, it is a 2001. So, you know, it served its time. I went ahead and ordered up an IMF oversized tank. I looked at a few others, and uh, IMF seemed to have the best to use. I couldn't get the stock capacity. I'm not too keen on the oversized tanks, uh, just because they tend to be pretty bulky. But you got to get what you can get, and this is what I could get. I didn't like the Clarks. They had bad reviews. I Maybe they're good. I don't know. IMF had the best reviews. There's my new tank. A little pricey. Okay, I think it was uh, 234 US. And I drop it off the damn thing here just about. Okay, now you gotta keep all your hardware from your old tank. But uh, pet cock and mounts and all that sort of thing. We're gonna uh, go through this and have a look. All right, well there it is sitting on frame. And right off, you can see it's a good two and a half to three inches taller in here. Quite a bit fatter on the wings. Uh, no clearance problems with my rads, and I have aftermarket ones which are square instead of rounded, so there's quite a bit of clearance. Comes down a little bit farther than the stock, but again, it's a pretty decent fitment. I heard a lot of people with some bikes had some issues. Not touching the frame where it's not supposed to be. It's not on the exhaust. You know what? That's a seems to be a pretty good fit. So what I'm going to do here is pull off my old mounts, clean them up a little bit, put them on, put my pet cock on, uh, my seat bolt, and my strap down here. And we'll bring it back over and make sure the bolts actually line up. Because I, I know that's been a pet peeve of some people's that some of these mounting holes didn't line up. One fella had to drill out his tank mount. Now the one that goes in here. But we'll see how it is. Alright, so there's all your gear you're going to need to put the tank on. Two mounts, four bolts for the mounts. The back uh, screw that uh, the strap goes on, it connects uh, the rubber strap from frame to seat, or frame to tank. The seat mount and its tapered bolt, and of course, pet cock. If your gasket's going to be bad, so I'd definitely pick up a kit because I don't want that sucker leaking on you. Okay, pet cock's on, fit was perfect. The only difference was this tank only has one hole instead of two but you don't need two for uh, this bike as the petcock only has one pickup some have uh, the reserve long one this just has one 
All right, tank mounts. Uh, fit was perfect. There's nothing else to say about them. All the holes lined up. The, the, the gap seems to be about right. Uh, yeah, nothing to it. Painless. Okay, so I just pulled out the uh, metal washer here to show you the fitment. And you can see it lines up pretty darn good. Okay, same thing on this side. I'm going to pull down just a bit, but you can see both sides are lined up perfectly. We'll go ahead and get this bolted up. Okay, both mounts are in. Uh, no big deal. But they lined up perfect, so that's the biggest battle. I did have to pull in on the tank, so I'll bolt the other side in and then push here. Uh, you know, a fair bit of force, but nothing crazy. Um... It might be that my bolts are a little bit short. Uh, anyways, it, it wasn't that big a deal. It went right on. All right, seat peg and tank strap screws went in perfect, no problem. Okay, so we got a small issue. I'm not sure how big of a deal it is or whether it even is an issue. The top plastics, the bolts are at a bit too much of a downward angle. Now, I'm not using the right bolt, so that is part of the problem. But I'm having to twist my plastics quite a bit like this to get the bolt to start. But when you mock it up, it does actually look like it lines up pretty decent. So, just a thing you got to be careful not to cross thread them, I guess. Fortunately, my plastics are pretty beat, beat up, so not a big deal. Okay, so we got them on. Overall fits, I'd say average. Um, they're, they're funny, they're different on, on the other side, but this one fit a little bit better up in here. Uh, this bolt was still a nightmare to get out because of its weird downward angle. So I started with that one and then did this guy because they're the most difficult ones. Uh, Rad Shroud bolt was no problem, but then I couldn't get this one in. So I took the rat right out, put that one in loosely, and then managed to pull it out and get it lined up and put those in. Again, I have aftermarket rads, so that may not be as big an issue on, on stock rads, but it's just something to keep note of. And you can see there's quite a bit of gap on this side because I had to pull it so far forward. But the good news, all the bolts lined up both sides, uh, so I'd call that a win. All right, all back together, seat bolts lined up fine. I found my first real issue. Can anybody guess what it is? Because of the much larger tank capacity, especially up here in the top end, the seat bend is off now. In fact, I can fit my hand right under the seat. You can see here by the ripples in the fabric, when you push down, there's quite a bit of play there. So that's really the only obvious thing. All the plastics worked. Seat's a little crunky, but 3.6 gallons, much larger. Sure, sure as hell beats having gas leak all over your nutsack and blowing yourself up on a trail. <laughs> 